Well, let me tell you something, Tara Lee. I've got something for you, I've got something for Julian, and hopefully I've got something for Aiden. Um, I don't know, have you ever had a potato salad with condensed milk in it? I have never had a potato salad with condensed milk. I, I can't even wrap my head around condensed milk. <laughs> Hello. Uh... Hello, baby. <laughs> Hello, Juliana. How about you? Um, I, I heard the last part and I heard Tara saying condensed milk and mm -hmm. potato salad. Am potato I right? Salad. Salad. Yes, yes. Mm, it's a no from me. I, I mean, it's I'm not opposed to trying it, but I've never had potato salad. Or at least maybe I had it, but I didn't know. Okay. Well, this is what happened to me. I had it. I also didn't know. And I was like, oh, give me more, baby. Um, and I had it when I was a kid from an Afrikaans lady called Mrs. Niemand. Um, she was the grandmother of a friend of mine. And I absolutely loved it. And then never, ever had it again because it's not something my mother would ever entertain the thought of doing. And there's lots of different ways you can do potato salad. There's one with gherkin and dill and eggs, which is really, really nice. Um, you can do kind of a Mediterranean one with a French dressing, not using mayonnaise, using lovely red onions, a little bit of bacon or some cold meat. Sometimes the Germans do that. Um, and then I was in Grayton a couple of years ago. And I just I got love, this. love Grayton. Don't you love Grayton? Mm. It was at the Oak and Vine. And um, oh, we I've been there. been there. Been there. I been love there, it. And yeah. they used to have this grand piano under the trees, and the guy used to play. And um, the acorns used to drop on your cup. Thank you. The <laughs> acorns are not a poop. And um, there's lots of birds flying there. And I, this potato salad, I said, call the chef. I want to know what's in her potato salad. And it was condensed milk. So I thought, let me share this with our listeners and i'm sure someone out there there's got to be someone out there that's omar used to make this your ma used to make it um, or maybe your mother still makes it so it's got every element of the savory it's got some look at this is lovely mustard i've got yes. some english mustard here lovely and strong i put salt and pepper in my bowl so sorry jen so are the Eggs. potatoes in already no no not yet i'm making oh, okay. dressing this is about okay. a quarter of a cup of condensed milk um, and then what I like to do, Jules, is I, I'll come to the onions now. And then here's some of this stuff, mayonnaise. Don't you like a little bit of mayonnaise? <laughs> if it's Hellman's it. mayonnaise, yes. yes. Is Look that Hellman's? No, this is not Hellman's. But when you taste this, you're going to say, hell man, this is good. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so now I've mixed this up. It's got salt, pepper. Mm -hmm. Happy mouth. But now you want to just tone down that sweetness a little bit. And I'm going to put my thumb in my mouth because <laughs> I've got a little bit. Of... I'm going to use a little bit of vinegar. I'm using a bit of apple cider, but you can use red wine vinegar, white wine vinegar. doesn't really matter. And I'm going to just add a little bit of olive oil, okay? But will the red wine vinegar not mess up with the color? It can mess with the color, but you can use white. You also get white balsamic vinegar, which is great. And then just another little tip of what I like to do. I like to put two, two kinds of onion in here. I'm just going to grab a little spoon. Jen, can I just ask, yes, because the first thing I'm noticing is like, and I've made potato salad, I'm sure Tara has too. Usually we put the potatoes, we boil the potatoes, we put the potatoes in the bowl, and now we start throwing in the mayo and the stuff mm. and mixing it in. Are you saying we should actually make our dressing separately? Dressing? Yes, and then you bring it together. So what I normally okay. do, and I get rave reviews, trust me, is I make my mixture like this. I let it stand so all the flavors and fuse into it. Here's some red onion. And I let it all infuse beautifully into it. And then I add my potatoes. Otherwise, what you find is you break the potatoes up, you start mushing them. And that's not what you want. Okay. Mm. So this is the first one, number one. I'm going to put a little bit of dressing on the bottom to just pop my potatoes. And here they go. 
Oh, you must talk us through boiling the potatoes, how to boil will... the perfect potato for salad. Look here, I'm putting bacon in this one. I'm making you two this morning. I'm going to go quick, quick. Now, you see, this has got all the deliciousness that you would ever want of all the onions in it. Sure, this is so divine. Now, boiling the potatoes are very important. They say get a waxy potato. We don't really have the options in this country of all the different potatoes. But if you read the bags, I'll tell you, this one is good for baking. This one's good for boiling. I mean, then you can choose one, you know, that blows your hair back. I'm going to put a little bit of parsley with this. Um, and a little bit more red onion. So what I like to do is you don't want to, because sometimes you get a watery watery potato. So mm. um, once I've drained them, I'll put them back in the pot and just put the heat on just to steam some of the water out. And then it's important to cool the potato down. You don't want to start um, cutting your potato while it's hot because it loses its shape. Now look at this baby. Yeah. She's gorgeous, don't you think? Can you, if you're in a hurry, can you, yes. so the potatoes are hot, can you put them like in a strainer and then like run cold water. water over it? Yes, of course you can. Okay. You can, you can also nuke your potatoes. You can bring little Mikey to the party. Mike can help you. Tari, you've met Mike now. I've met um, Mike. <laughs> yes, and Mike is such a helpful little thing to have in the kitchen. We all need a Mike in our kitchen. And then but just then some you... more black pepper. Do you put them, like, as in you peel them, boil them yes. in mic, or what? Um, yeah, I just bake them in mic. Mic gives a little bit of heat, and it's fabulous, and it's delicious. Okay, so now, wow, someone says, I love gherkins. I will definitely try it. Now, this one, Jules, is one I absolutely love. My mother used to make this one, um, where she would just take eggs. I love this that. It's lovely here. This is a real murtu because what she does. Well, you can grate the you can grate the you can grate it. Egg. Yes. Yeah. But I'm putting it in big, and I'll tell you why. I'm going to put the mayonnaise straight into this, okay, and then stir it around the way you, the way you know it. Look there, and some parsley, and I'm going to add some lovely fresh dill. Look at that, and I love red onions. So red onions going into this and some lovely gherkin. Um, heart team, they're saying hello to our hearties. Jen, you're looking sexy as always. I wish you I are. Yes. Oh, my goodness gracious you, me. I'm looking at you all morning. I'm like, this woman is glowing. Is there something you want to tell us maybe? You know, Julian, you're the most suspicious <laughs> inspector Pisa on this earth. People tell me I'm walking funny. I'm glowing. I'm looking funny. I went to Shirley Valentine last night. I'm talking to the wall like she does. Please. Hello, wall. Um, at the <laughs> at the theater on the bay. Yes. I read something it. about One it. Did you enjoy show it? It was amazing. Yes. It was really, I must go really and see nice. It. You really would. I think you'd enjoy it. Okay, so here's all my little paraphernalia. I'm gonna put a little bit more olive oil. I like to put olive oil because I love that gorgeous flavor it gives. Shall I put bacon in this? Because you know you can. I shame not for Tara, man. We've got bacon in the okay, other Tara. one. Tara. Sorry, Tara. I won't put the <laughs> a couple of fussy kids on this block. I have to tell you something, Julian. You're a bad influence. Jen, Tara's so with the mayo, nonsense. with the second mayo, there's, so there's mm. no condensed milk in there? No, no. So I'm just okay. giving you two lovely little variations on a theme. So one, the conventional way, but using some gherkins and using eggs and a little bit of dill. Oh, this is gorgeous. And what I find is if you um, take your onions and put a little bit of salt on it and make it sweat and then put it into your salad, it's not so pungent. And the onion flavor is soft and absolutely beautiful. Oh my goodness, I could just dive into this now. I'm telling you, boys and girls, look at that. Oh, I love potato salad. It's usually yes. the only thing mm. I can eat at a bra. Really? <laughs> oh, no. Your friends are not very good to you. Look at that. That's a whole meal for you, Tara. It's got eggs oh, in it. It's got wow. all the protein. It's got all the yumminess. And then some beautiful spring onions over the top. And mm. maybe a few little of these little bits of red onion and some more dill and parsley. And we're done, boys Jenny, and girls. I'm done. Tell us about dough quickly, because it's not something that I am very familiar with or naturally use or ever used in my cooking. 
You see, the thing is with dill, dill's lovely. Um, dill has got a little bit of a licorice flavor, very much used in the Mediterranean. Often you'll get like a, the Greeks use it a lot in their spinach and feta pie. We get that little undertone, lovely with fish, beautiful with chicken. Um, it looks similar to fennel that grows on the roadside, but tastes completely different. So um, it, it works beautifully with salads and, and with fish. It's a lovely herb, and you should try it more often, but it's a very... Um, I try to grow it, and I do grow it, but it doesn't last very long in the garden. It's a bit like a woman, a bit temperamental. <laughs> Tempera and mental. <laughs> well, look at me. I'm done and dusted, children. I mean, how That's quick amazing. was that? That was very, yeah, very so quick. quick and easy. I can't very, wait to try quick. the condensed milk one, actually. I promise mm. you. It, so, uh, it doesn't even taste like it's got condensed milk. It's just got a little bit of depth. It's got that something... There's something, you don't know what it is. Mm. And it's very, very creamy. It's really nice. So there we have it. I'm going to lick my fork. Can I do this? Mm. Mm. <laughs> it's your fork. My fork loves my face. <laughs> what, are you gonna do, what are you going to do with the rest of the condensed milk? I'm not going to tell you because I'm not allowed. <laughs> Oh, you are going to eat it like just out of the can. <laughs> yeah, but you know what I like? Normally when it's got, you can suck it out of the can, but this has got a pull top, so you've just ruined my day. Oh. <laughs> yeah, not good. Not good for me. But anyway, this is very, so, very good. So, I mean, potato salad, like Tara said, is usually the only thing that you can eat at a braai. What yes. is almost as easy as a potato salad if people are not tired of a what? A pasta salad. After salad, yeah. I like to make, mm. um, this, once again, you can make Mediterranean, Italian. I make one where I fry onions and ginger and garlic with some turmeric. I make a spicy base. And then I chop apricots and jewels. Oof. And then I mix mm. that with the mayonnaise. And then you can hoi anything you want into that. It's lovely. Really Could nice. you replace the potatoes, use exactly that um, dressing and um, put the pasta in instead of potatoes? Absolutely. It would love the pasta. It would okay. embrace it. Oh, and make your mouth very happy, darling. Very, mm. very. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so there nah, you go. I'm, glad I, I'm so glad you're giving me new ideas because that uh, wasabi mayo that you introduced us to a few yeah. weeks ago, I actually <laughs> made a potato salad with wasabi mayo. I mixed the wasabi paste and the mayonnaise and I added spring onion and then I mixed that with my potatoes. And we I do that like, at Yamsha's yes. at the restaurant. And I have to come in and take this to Yamsha. I can't have had my fork in it, but I think I'll make one of those for the table. So I'm going to love you. I'm going to leave you, and I'm going to go and feed my face. <laughs> Be good. Love you, Jenny. I love Bye. you all. Be good. Bye-bye, darlings.